Hey everybody, it's Dr. T and I'm here with Pussycat Talk Podcast and I'm here with one of my amazing friends, Chelsea with Learn With Chelsea. And we're going to do a little bit of girl talk tonight. Hey Chelsea. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I've been trying to get my girl here from Vegas for the last four months. I know, it's been a minute. So Chelsea, tell us about you. Okay, well, I'm a mother of two. Okay. I reside out in Vegas, like you mentioned. I wear a lot of hats these days, being a single mama of my two babies, but yes. I'm mainly known for helping women break into the entrepreneurship space through creating digital products and programs that help them navigate the entrepreneurial world. And how long have you been in the digital space? Because is that a new, that's a new space for everybody now. Yeah, it's been seven years since I've been wow. making money solely online and um, working for myself in the digital space and in 2019 I launched my first digital program which was called pennies to gold and it was wow. designed to help women make and create their own drop shipping stores so you're helping a lot of other women how many people are in your actual community that you help uh, over 18,000 women are you help women you don't help any men I'm open to helping everyone, but I, for some reason, one reason or another, women gravitate to me. Coming from like the beauty industry, yeah. I think initially when I started teaching, most of my audience was the glam girls from makeup. All right, so you say you're a single mommy. How is that possible? A family woman. I'm definitely a wife at heart, you know, but... Sometimes things don't always go according to plan and you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of readjust and uh, realign. So when you're saying that, you know, you want him to be ambitious and things of that nature, I'm just going to get down to it. Yeah. So did he make the same type of money you made? Or did, you know, I mean, he did. did. He actually, he actually made a lot more money than I did. But, you know, money management is a big deal. Mm. And um, just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean that you keep a lot of money. Okay. Some women are in relationships that they don't realize until they're in it, until they're married to that person. And it's like, should I stay or should I go? Yeah. You know? And at that point, it's like, do you work it out? Do you, you know, because everyone has the potential. Now, I do believe in doing background checks. Because I did a background check when I remarried. Yeah. How, how like, did that go? Oh, it was great. Oh, I'm I mean, of course. I mean, we wouldn't be, I wasn't married. Right. Okay. But, but yet, still, people are like, girl, for real. I was like, yes, I have sons. Yeah. And I don't want just anybody around my kids. Yeah. Okay. And I need to know that he's not a psycho. Absolutely. I need to know he's not a psycho being around my kids when we were really serious. You know, and I didn't have a bunch of people around my kids anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, guys that I may have been dating, I was like not down for that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he was taking them to Boy Scouts and, you know, so I was just like, wow. You know, then when we married, my husband and my ex-husband, they took the boys to Six Flags together. So oh it was like, God. you know, and that's important to have a relationship. So they, they were cool. So I, I try to learn those traits as I've dated and, you know, had my own experiences. But I want my kids to see mom happy and to see witness that. I agree. I, I will definitely say that, you know, maybe I would have not remarried. But then again, I'm, I'm not that single type of girl. I'm not, you know, just out here. Right. <laughs> and so it was like I didn't marry the first guy that I was dating without yeah. a doubt. But I will say I probably would have waited a little bit longer knowing things that I know now, like uh, what's your credit? You know, because we didn't talk about that stuff back mm -hmm. then. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't talk about, you know, well, what's your credit? You know, we we're used to go to school, get a good job. You know, that's that was our baby funnel back then. OK, when their dad and I met, you know, we actually met. You know how you guys meet people on Facebook? Mm -hmm. We met through uh, a paper. A newspaper? Yeah, it's Creative Loafing. Oh, I've heard of that. Back in the day. Yeah, they <laughs> oh, still have that? But I will definitely say, um, you know, it's, 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 it's normal now mm -hmm. too, because the way the world is and uh, everything is, is moving towards that. But yeah, I will definitely say now it's like you got to do so much qualification. So much. There's it is so much. It's crazy. Dating is hard to navigate now. There's just, people it, are just different. Old school folks would have been like, it don't matter. He need to, you know, know. but we're in different times. Yeah. And so I can definitely see a potential like, okay, but 
How often did you do that? I did that one time. After that, yeah, I didn't do that again. After that, it was he would pay for things and like, you know, um, but ultimately it didn't last because we were on two completely different levels. And that's why I realized like, so speaking so. of that, and you said something that was powerful. So I kind of want to bring it up. So can you submit? And some people don't like that word submit. I absolutely submit? think that I can. I don't think I've ever been in a position where I felt safe enough necessarily to submit. But my desire 100% is to be able to submit. I just need the right man to be able to submit to because I'm not a led, to be quite honest. I, and men th seem to think that, you know, what I don't like is when girls say, I don't need a man. I don't need a man. Mm -hmm. I said, girl, by what I'm seeing a lot of, is a lot of exposure. When I say exposure, women just out there showing everything and not leaving anything, anything surprise, right? to the imagination. Mm -hmm. It's like out of control. I don't care about if you want to get your body made over because I, I did back in the day when I had gotten my tummy tuck before I gained the weight. So I'm down for that. If mm -hmm. it's something that makes me happy, then do it. Yeah. You know. If you want to improve on something, then do it. Mm -hmm. I just don't think you should be having your ass out. So, yeah, especially let's... if you're trying to attract a husband, okay, you know, or someone who's going to take you seriously. I agree. I was the same person, yeah. but I wanted more, more things. For your life. Right, mm. and he wanted me just to be um, just the housewife, and I wasn't always just the housewife. You know, I've always been a person who's had her own business. Mm. And so, and I always wanted more and I wasn't a person that wanted to settle. That's me all day. That's not what I wanted for my life. I didn't want to settle. I wanted to travel the world. And what have we done? We've traveled the world. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have my own business. I wanted to, you know, I was the first person in my family to graduate college. What about you? Not sure if I'm the first to graduate college, but I think with a four year degree, probably. I think yeah. my mom got her associates. And, and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think that is what us women want to be. We want to be soft. We want to be gentle. But we want to be badasses, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I hope you guys have liked the episode. I did. This was a blast. Oh, this was so much fun. Yeah. I really appreciate, you know, the female-based podcast because I get at most, the majority of the podcasts that I do are male-based. And they're fun, you know. But this is special, like, girl time. And, like, nobody understands a woman like another woman. And so exactly. this is good. This is much needed, I think. Exactly. We're not called Pussycat Talk Podcast for, for nothing. nothing. Uh, we will be back with another episode. I just want to thank. Chelsea. Now you know I can never say your last name correctly. It's a doozy. Chelsea Goriello. Uh, Chelsea, give everybody your handle, please. Yeah, so make sure you guys follow me on all social media platforms. Learn with Chelsea is my handle everywhere. You can find me on Instagram, Clubhouse, TikTok, you name it. We're there. And I look forward to connecting with all of you guys in the future. Thank you guys for joining. We'll see you on the next episode. Have a great one. Bye for now.